Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and for this video, I'm going to share some tips on how to win fights against good opponents. When you fight opponents that know what they're doing, it can be very difficult and time consuming to win the engagement. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to quickly win fights against better players. So this first engagement starts off as a 1v1. I start off by ramping up on them, but since I don't get the adequate amount of peace control off, they get height from me. As you can see, I had enough materials to potentially build fight this opponent. However, since I'm crunched on time with a knock teammate and I wanted to conserve mats, I pickaxe my ramp, letting out the bait that I'm breaking the builds down. In this situation, my opponent got height, they built 2 or 3 layers higher, indicating that they are more comfortable fighting from high ground. That's where tip number 1 comes in. Don't let your opponent play to their strengths. This is why it's super important to train every aspect of the game so you're not reliant on one strategy to carry you through the fight. Once my opponent thinks I'm breaking down the builds, they hop down from height giving me an easy chance to aim duel them. For the second clip, my team and I roll up on a team that is more comfortable box fighting. What you'd want to do when you're fighting players that like to tunnel is to take awkward angles. This is so they can't edit out and peace control you. That is the most dangerous thing about fighting these types of players. They wait for you to pressure their box and that's when they fully box you. As you can see, what I do is I stand diagonally up to the left of the box I'm pressuring so when my opponent edits out, they have no way to box me. Even when I get the edit, I don't hop in because I have the right hand peek. If I were to hop in, I would have given up my right hand peek along with opening up an angle for both of my opponents to hit me. For this third clip, my opponents established their high ground from the main building of Craggy. In this situation, my teammate and I don't have enough materials to take an extended build fight. What we do is we extend out and up a layer so we can have more space along with elevation to play around with. Once you have a few boxes and different elevations to play around, you can start going for jump peaks. As you can see, once I go for the jump peak, I place a wall, edit a window, and place a cone above. This technique is one I've been spending time on for the last few weeks to incorporate it into my gameplay. Not only does it block your opponent from going for high ground, it enables you to fully box them and get the elim. After I reload all my guns, I go for another jump peak and use the exact same window technique to peace control my opponent. This allows me to just aim duel my opponents and end the fight. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any video ideas for me, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.